Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Taylor Jones, and of course, I'm here to bring another video for my YouTube channel. And this time, since since one of the guys, since one of you guys gave me a comment, especially a man by the name of Aaron McGee, I read your comment this morning, and you said something about me explaining about Donald Trump. Well, I tell you, Mr. McGee, that I will let you know about him. Because when it comes to a man named Donald Trump, you got to realize that um, he is not exactly the way he is. Because some people find him racist. Some people find him confused. But you know how millionaires are. They got a mind on their own. But sometimes when you have a mind on your own, you start doing some dumb things. So you need to be careful because sometimes when it comes to a man named Donald Trump, you got to realize, okay, like, what is he going to do and how is it going to affect me, you, the whole entire society in the USA? Besides making great, making America great again, you got to realize that he has some, has some issues to deal with. I was, I was terrified. I was disappointed ever since the election because the first time he tried to run he he knew it wasn't his thing for an entrepreneur trying to be political but the second try he finally got it and a lot of people oh, excuse me a lot of people been supporting him and the others like for instance some celebrities like Snoop Dogg. I remember that Snoop Dogg video he made dissing on Donald Trump. You know when he was like, <clears throat> They should spin your dumb butt double crosser. All the goofy crap you do for a living. When you gonna get suspended double crosser? Forget you. I'm with the homies. Marshawn Lynch. Stand up for the Mexican present. A Mexican automatic national anthem. Man, we mess with Mexicans. They're the homies. Forget you, snitch. Forget you, Donald Trump, everything you stand for. The bar ball, good looking now. I wouldn't thank that double crosser anyway. Forget him. Should have should have left him in jail. What kind of Negro is you, man? <sighs> Garbage. America, y'all should be ashamed to call this piece of crap your prison because he ain't mine. Forget him. But anyway, that's that's that doesn't sound like my imitation of Snoop Dogg. But you know how some people get, especially in different races and celebrities, they get out getting so mad that Donald Trump should not be trusted. It's like an old saying, Wu-Tang Clan ain't nothing to mess with, but Donald Trump ain't nothing to trust, according to some people. And I feel like I'm one of the people that can't stand Trump because, first of all, what did the Mexicans ever do to you? You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, all you worry about is we need to build a wall. Yeah. First he wants to talk about the wall, then he wants to call little I mean, Kim Jong un Rocking Man Rocking Man Wow. Really? Why the Rocket Man? Because everybody knows that the nuclears, nuclear weapons are getting invented. Matter of fact, I tell you what, I am tired of thinking about World War Three. I'm not ready for World War Three because some people claim that the World War Three is supposed to be like the end of the world type war. Ever since we bombed Hiroshima. Back in 45, after we got destroyed in 1941. Pearl Harbor reference. Oh, good grief, man. That was so long ago. Why you want to make World War III a nuclear war? Imagine how many survivors will be, be dealing. We had to deal with this madness. Imagine if... It was like, ugh. I'm not going to think about comparing it, but if I did compare it, it would be like Sodom and Gomorrah. Imagine if there were 10 survivors after World War III was over. I would, 
I would be devastated to know about it. Because, to make a long story short, stop the violence. Stop the hatred. That's what I think when it comes to Donald Trump. He's got too much, too much anger. Anger needs to die down sometimes. If you ain't going to take this job as president seriously, you might as well leave. Impeach. But, but look, four years, eight years, a lot of misunderstandings can take place. And of course, be for Donald Trump, he needs to be more honest, more open-minded, more careful. And of course, he's also dealing with Vladimir Putin. And recently on the social media, they made Donald Trump look like like a, a slave. And Vladimir Putin as the pimp. He's pimping on Donald Trump. What? Well, look, Donald Trump had it coming. And he's not good with social media. He's so, so a troublemaker. He always says some foul things about other people. But he thinks that He's kind of like his own version of Kendrick Lamar. I love myself. Listen, if you want, if you want to know about Donald Trump, you got to know his characteristics. You got to know exactly where he's coming from. And I am not thinking about taking his advice when he says, grab him by the, no, I'm not going to grab, grab that place. It's sexually referenced. And I'm surprised that he even said that on Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. If y'all remember that that uh, Macaulay Culkin movie. <gasps> okay, I'm just joking around. But for a man named Donald Trump, from entrepreneur to president, I think he's, he overstepped his bounds too much. And also, to Mr. Aaron McGee, thank you for giving me some ideas on how I feel about Donald Trump and the whole society. Because it's kind of like a little bit of a rant, but at the same time, a, like my, my take on how I see the world and what's going on right now. But anyway, if y'all like this video about what I've explained about Donald Trump, because I'm not trying to cause controversy nor beef with him, because I don't know him like that, just make sure you like, comment, and subscribe about what's going on and how you feel about this situation, because I can understand that I can't... I can't speak for Donald Trump. All I can speak for is myself. And even if I get criticized for going too far, listen, I'm trying my best not to start no no war, no hate. You know what I'm saying? Just know, guys. And, of course, I will come up with some more ideas. And once again, thank you, Aaron McGee, for, for giving me a suggestion. And I will see y'all next time on my YouTube channel. This is Taylor Jones signing off.